Hello everyone. Um, this is Luis, and I'm from Taiwan. I collect the Jedi for around ten years uh, since I was very young. And in Taiwan, the the Jedi culture uh, is everywhere. We have the Jedi market in our Taipei city. And all of the city has their own Jedi market. And I remember when I was when I was a kid, uh, my daddy would take me to the Jedi market, and we would try to dig some treasure. So I like the stone since my childhood, and I found it's quite beautiful to collect those stone. And many of my friends. Uh, they don't really know about Jedi, and I, I couldn't say I'm an expert of that, but I have the basic knowledge since I've collected them for over ten years. And today I want to show you some uh, collection I have. Uh, okay, and uh, the first one is uh, lavender colored. Jedi, and I make my own Minecraft rope. You can see the uh, lavender color, uh, which is most of the favorite of girls because the color is not too old and it's very fashioned. And when we can see the pur purple colors, is locate around the service that because uh, that's that is not or originally half because when we touch the stone more often or the best way is to wear it very often and the Jedi can't uh, the texture will be more smooth as time going and the color will comes out uh, to fr from the service or from the thinner part and the cabbage in Chinese saying is uh, tremendous fortune because uh, the pronunciation of Mandarin is pretty much close to that meaning. Okay, and we also have the the green color jadeites uh, that is that's nearly close to the icy, but I wouldn't call it as an icy, but it has the shines and you can see is I would call it semi-translucent and the color will come out when the time is going and I like I really like the beautiful uh, brownish red and you can see it shines everywhere. I, that's one of the attraction uh, that Jedi had. That it's very tiny and small dependent. I think it's quite good for the kid or for the girl that is not too tall. And the next one is uh we uh, is a whole grain toad and the toad uh with the symbol of wealthy and blessing you can see uh the ears both ear of the toad because it's the uh, most um service part uh, when we touch it more, it will shine and become more uh, transparent or you can call it translucent. In the old saying, we would say it becomes more icy. In this way, and the carving is very cute. You see, we usually will see uh, if the teeth is healthy or not of the little animal 
and there's a little bit red over here and it comes out is not what it's it's not what it has when I just bought it so it comes out after I own it and I even didn't wear it I just uh, maybe touch it when I make the micron so I think it's pretty much enjoyable things that to have it and to appreciate it and there's another carved um, image is dragon because Chinese we really love dragon this one uh, way of the dragon that is very dimensional and I would call it a uh, a uh, purple lavender color but it's with a little bit gray gray colors in that and some uh, small black points and also some green so it's not it's hard to say uh, that uh, the color is very identical in one pendant uh, the colors everywhere and you never know the, what would happen when you, when you have it or when you wear it, that's the best way. But uh, as, as long as it's a real Jedi, the great eight on treated, all natural Jedi, and the longer you have it, and you will become prettier, prettier than what you just have it. And this one is also um, semi-translucent. I wouldn't call it icy. Because you see part of the light can see through it, but not just very clear. But I like the dimensional carving way. Mm. When we say about dragon, there's uh, several ways. I would say it's maybe over 10 ways of carving it. Like there's another two jedi that's another green maybe very similar than the last two toads that we just share and you can see there's a there's a vivid green comes comes out and a part a little bit yellow also you can see like a, a slight yellow is coming out here so it's keep changing as, as a time so every time when I uh, take those things out and touch it even not to wear it I I can see the change on this pendant so I think it's really magical to have it and there's another way that uh, is carved as a dragon head that is also lavender color. And when we talk about lavender colored, uh, if there is some green part, we would call it uh, spring with color in China. In Mandarin, we say Chun Dai Cai. Uh, the spring means. Uh, the purple and the color means uh, green so like green is part of the color in spring so I think the, the, uh, the name is quite beautiful and usually when we uh, see when we talk about the lavender color the texture is not so translucent but the color is very obvious and vice versa if the texture is very icy or translucent uh, the color wouldn't be so obvious to see so it's like the those advantage you can just take one as first priority uh, there is another uh, we call it a 
the fish with dragon's head. That's also another ancient、uh, Chinese creature in the fairy tale story. And this in this one, do we see there is a very beautiful, vivid green comes out, and there's also some yellow part comes out. Is on his way. And they are, they are already become different、uh, than the time when I just purchased them, and I、uh, own them for a period of time. And <laughs> I would say it all becomes more beautiful than I just own them. And this one is very interesting pendant. I would say. Because it's a rolling wheel. That in the middle is the ancient coins shape, and the skeletons. It all requires the special carving, and the, you can roll. So I think it's quite interesting. With if you're waiting for something and you just. Need to、uh, hold something, and or you need to roll something, and this one is、uh, also the spring with color, the purple and green. The texture is okay; it's very even, although it's not very translucent, or we call icy. I or all saying that、uh, when you feel not so well or not so lucky, you can just roll it. So we call it、uh, rolling those luck or fortune into our hand. So all the carving pendant has its own、uh, beautiful symbol,、uh, and we all we all have our best wish in it. And this one we can call it a、uh, pretty much close the icy. You can see. You can see how shiny of the surface. And see the light comes out. And on the top of that is a picho. Ah,、uh, it's also、uh, the Chinese ancient. Creature in fairy tales. That means、uh, wealthy and ha- know how to、uh, accumulate your fortune and become rich. And there's a Chinese word called "fu," means blessing. And there's a little bit of,、uh, I would say, hidden red.、Uh, no, hidden yellow on its way. See, there's、uh, some yellow. You can see from the edge, and、uh, there's another thing. We also like to carve the animal or some natural things in our pendant, like this one. We call it as the mouse, and I really like the the grains, especially in this part. You can see it's getting more icy because it's the most surface part. So when we touch it, so the texture would change and becomes better. And this this. This is a mouse, and I don't know if you know. We separate the different years in different animal year. Like the twenty twenty is a mouse year. The Chinese horoscope. And on the back is the coins image of the ancient time. So in this one, we call it Shu Lai Bao. 
there's also a very similar way to we'll see blessing fortune all treasured and uh, there is another one uh, that would be more obvious that we can call it I see suspicious I think it's very beautiful because uh, the yellow is so obvious and in the beginning it's not so obvious it's uh, just a light yellow uh, like a hidden colored independent but it becomes very obvious and it becomes more on the edge There's another Chinese word, xiao. That means uh, good fortune. I really like the, the flat and it shines in its way. So it's original radiant of the stone. I think the stone is magical. And this one uh, on the top of that is also a picho. The animal in the fairy tale and this one is an ancient build uh, usually in your temple and on the back is a uh, old type of money in Qing dynasty, Qing dynasty uh, the first empire of China. And so for the conclusion of those many is because the uh, pronunciation of belt in Mandarin very similar as forever and this one means fortune so it means so uh, have fortune forever money <laughs> uh, we also have the uh, the carving that we were use the colored how uh, the a Chinese artisan will use a color to decide and to design what's going to have on the pendant, like this one. It's a very normal technique that they will use. Like on the surface, they use all the beautiful yellows. And the yellow is not very even, but very beautiful and it's most strong here. And this, I would call it apple green with a yellow. And on the back, it's all apple green. And all this, all of the pendant is not very expensive, to be honest. Uh, the, the price is, is have uh, lots of variations like you if you purchase in a jewelry shop it might be more expensive but if you can find some reliable supplier it wouldn't be so expensive and this one is very icy because you see you can see my finger on the back okay. uh, remember what I said uh, the texture would ch uh, change from the most service part and this is a most it's a most thin part it's a thinner part of all the all the pendant so it becomes more cleared right here and on the edge there is some yellow comes out and the white, or we will call it cotton. I think it's uh, quite beautiful, and it's, it is also uh, one of the most important feature of the uh, untreated 
stone. And this one, we call it meditation in the forest. That in all time, there is so some some fairy tales say、um, there is someone out who、uh, got the real true meaning of nature of everything. Oh, you can see my finger swirling, and the the color、oh, it becomes so obvious.、Uh, and we have two more of those. This one called this shape, the spiral shape. We call it Ru Yi. I'm not sure you, if you can Google,、uh, Google it. Is is R U Y I?、Uh, it means everything has its best way, and all your wishes come true. And This beautiful apple green with yellow, and the color, and this one it keeps the original skin of the stone. It's quite big, like a half of my palm. And the last one is I'll call it another lavender color, but with a mixture of green. And the texture is very smooth, though it's not icy enough. But I would see I would say it's very clean. And all the microns I design it and I make it. I try to make it simple and to be match with、uh, pendant. See the color, and more tr- transparent from the edge. Oh, the shape of it is、uh, Ru Yi means. Uh, wishes come true, and the fish, and the lotus leaf. So all the things, animal or plant, it all it all has its good meanings. And you can see the purple from the top from the back. And the texture changes from here. And let's see what else I we have.、Mm. Oh, we have the the last one is、uh, that's not very usual carving type. I see. Is、uh, Chinese beauty in the ancient times? So it, it, it's、um, hundreds of years ago. We usually can see you can see the hairstyle of the lady, and she seems so quiet. And think about something. So it's very typical type of Chinese lady that we usually see in our Chinese、um, ancient type drama, and there's a little bit、um, brown or red on the top, and also some yellow here. Oh, it's a little bit oil because <laughs> I always t- touch it. I would say it's a little bit 
I see, see. So all the natural things it will have is shine. You see, it's very shined, and when we when you touch it, it's very cold, but it will get warmed. When you like my bangle, uh, it's not cold anymore. But uh, when you just wear it, you will feel oh, it's very cold. <laughs> but I think it's quite good, quite comfortable when you wear it in summer. So I said, uh, this it. This is uh, some pendant I introduced for you today because all of it is not um, very. Uh, it's not so expensive quality, but I think uh, as long as it's a real untreated stone and it, you will have it when you when you own it. So uh, it's very welcome if you can uh, discuss with me. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer it. And tell me uh, what other color that you feel interested in with because I, I really have too many collections so I may be able to answer some of your questions. So that's it. So have a good, uh, have a good day and I wish you have more understanding about the Jedi. Bye.